Fabry Disease by Caitlin Betcherill and Gabriel Lara. Carrie has Fabry Disease. Other names for her disease are angiokeratoma diffuse, GLA deficiency, Anderson Fabry Disease, and etc. Carrie inherited the disease from the X chromosome. Fabry disease is considered X-links since the disorder is found on the X chromosome. In males, only one mutant disease gene, a copy of an altered GLA gene, can cause a condition. Since the females have two X chromosomes, having one altered copy of the GLA gene can cause many problems. Fabry disease is sex-linked. Males have one X chromosome inherited from the mother and one Y chromosome inherited from the father. Males will have Fabry disease if the X chromosome contains the mutant gene. Females have two X chromosomes. A female carrier will have one X chromosome with, def with a defective Fabry gene and one with a normal gene. All females have one of the two X chromosomes in somatic cells randomly inactivated to make up for the differences between males and females. This X chromosome inactivation has major consequences for females with the mutant Fabry genes. Symptoms. The first symptom is aroparthesis. Individuals that have this symptom experience episodes of burning pain in hands and feet. The second symptom is anhydrosis or hypohydrosis. Individuals with these symptoms have decreased or absent sweat production and discomfort in warm temperatures. The third symptom is angiocartomus. This causes the appearance of a reddish to dark blue spots. The fourth symptom is gastrointestinal problems. These include abdominal cramps and frequent bowel movements. The fifth symptom is corneal, corneal dystrophy. Individuals have abno abnormal deposits of glycolipids in their corneas. Here are images of some of the symptoms caused by Fabry disease. Population affected by. Fabry disease occurs in all racial and ethnic populations and affects both males and females. Candidates for Fabry disease. Only people who have a mutated Fabry gene in their family can be a candidate. Males mostly have this disorder. Carrie wants to have kids! Yay! It is possible for people with Fabry disease to have kids. Men with Fabry disease have a 100% chance of passing the Fabry gene to their daughters and a 0% chance to their sons. Females have a 50% chance of passing the disorder to their child if the father does not have the disease. Carrie's husband, Marcel, does not have the disorder. Prenatal tests. Carrie is now pregnant. This means that she can have the amniocentesis and a chorionic vilus sampling to diagnose Fabry in the fetus. Amniocentesis involves a needle being inserted into the mother's abdomen to take a sample of the fluid surrounding the baby. In CVS, a sampling of placenta cells is retrieved by the doctor by the 10th and 12th week of pregnancy. Carrie is worried about her child. Oh no! Carrie is curious about the medical assistance for her child and if further assistance will be needed. A typical treatment most people receive is enzyme replacement. This is effective in slowing the progression of the disease. Some people may also require dialysis or kidney transplantation. The long-term outlook for the child is the child not fully curing the disease. Prevention and cures of the disease. Fabry disease cannot be prevented, and as of today, there are no cures. No cure for the disease will be in the near future because gene therapy for Fabry disease is only in the early stages of investigation. Thanks for watching, and I hope that this video was educational and learning about the Fabry disease. We're excited for this project listed on this slide.